This video shows how to calibrate the throttles on a free X quadcopter. The first thing I like to do is recalibrate the joysticks on the radio transmitter. To do this, you hold the two joysticks down, you push the plus button, while holding that down you turn the transmitter on. The number two appears, you hit the minus sign, it goes to three, then you take the joysticks, go around to get the complete um, on the outside to get the complete area. Then you take the little slider on the side for the camera, do the same thing, move it back and forth a few times and place everything in the center. You put it on number four and everything's recalibrated on your radio transmitter. The next thing to do is to recalibrate the ESE throttles. To do this, um, I took the, uh, I disconnected all the wires off the transmitter here. Um, and then I pulled off the transmitter. There's sticky tape. Uh, I don't have, if you have extensions um, for be a male to female that are long enough, you could have uh, left that there, but I didn't have the extensions. So the first thing you do is you take the power plug off, which is your lower right one on your uh, flight control uh, with the white cable up. You plug that into port number one of your receiver. Then I labeled all four ESEs, four, three, two, one. Uh, I'll take the fourth one, do that one first. You plug that into the third bay or your third slot, your throttle slot of your receiver. Let's see. Again with the white cable up. Try not to get the uh, second one plugged in. Uh, the tape is sticking. That's what's happening. Okay, that should work this time. Okay, that's plugged in. So you plug your uh, ESEs directly into the throttle. Then you need to, I take a rubber band, I put that around the handle, and I hold the uh, throttle joystick up to 100%. Okay, I turn that on, it's 100%. The next step would be to plug in the battery made an extra beat to show it's in calibration mode. Okay, let's see how it's working. Looks like it starts at about eight, nine, nine, eight, nine percent. I'd like to get that up to 13 percent, so let me try this again. You have to unplug the um, this. I heard there's a little trick putting a coin. I use two quarters. I try to hold it at 3%. This holds it at about 4% right there. So let me try it this way with the two coins. Again, we're holding this in the up position. Plug in the uh, quad. Makes the extra beep. Hold it down at 3%. We got the two beeps and then there's an extra beep. Let's see how it does now. Okay, at zero. Okay, it starts at about 10, 11, 12 percent at starting, so that's good. You go to the next um, ESC to unplug four. Let's plug three in. Okay, that's plugged in. Plug the battery in. Give the extra beep. The double beep. Okay, I forgot to use the coin again. It's starting at a, about 7%, so let's try that again. I forgot to do the coin trick. Okay, plug this in, It'll beep once. Beep. Then we hold it down. Oops. Put the coin in there. Double beep. Okay. Now we'll see when it starts to run. There's to run at about 11%, perfect. Okay, we'll unplug the battery. Go to the second ESE. ESE is right there. Plug that in to the transfer to the receiver. We're in the up position, 100%. Plug the battery in. Extra beep on the coins. Did the 
a double beep and then another extra beep. So, see where it's at. There's 10%. 11 starts at about 12%. Pretty good. Okay. Go on and do the last um, ESC, number one. Should be the upper right hand corner or upper left hand corner. Okay, the ESC number one's plugged in. We'll plug the uh, battery in. Give the extra beep. Hold the coins there. We're at four percent. Did the extra beep. Okay. It starts eleven percent, twelve percent. Okay, so they're all starting about twelve, thirteen percent. As they should. Um, my next step would be to unplug this and put everything back. Okay, all the ESEs started about 13%. So we uh, disconnect them from the transmitter. Put the transmitter back. Um, let's see. This is the. These go in. Port one. Make sure they go in. Yep. Orange on top. We got this. Oops. Long one here. I don't know if you can see this over my shoulder. Plug. Plug that one in. Okay. Then we got the uh, slider. Black one's on the bottom for the gimbal, and then the white one, the signal cable, is on top. So the transmitter's back. I might have to use some more sticky tape, but it seems to be holding pretty good, so I think I'm okay. And we plug back in the four ESCs. C's. Um, Sure, you skip the um, slot five for the GPS two. Okay. Okay, three and four. So those are all plugged in and power. White cable on top. Okay, everything's all put back the way to normal. Okay, what we do is we'll turn the transmitter on. We will plug it in. And then we'll just test the motors to see how they all spin. Okay, we'll start to arm it. We'll pull it down to the right. They're all running. can't really tell. Before these three were running and that one would not and it would start to run at 50%. They sound about the same RPM. Hopefully it's working. It doesn't go down to zero. doesn't turn it off. That's supposedly how you calibrate. Let's disarm the motors. That's it. Thank you.